Hello. Hi, Seer. That game. <laughs> I'm probably going to do that every episode from now on. Now that I remember where it actually says Okami. But uh, anyway, in the last part, we did Hana Valley, got the Bloom Power, bloomed the Guardian Sapling, and then ran back here because I had to feed a dog. I could run around here blooming things. I probably even said I was going to do that at the end of the last part. But uh, that's not what I feel like doing right now. <laughs> I want to run around Shinshu Field more. The way Isun was like, wait, we're going to be going back there later anyway. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go back there later anyway. There being the village. Oh, hey, a gate. We should clear those. Whoa, what's up with this old gate? I don't like the looks of it. It's just teeming with evil power. I can feel it. Still, you being a god and all, we can't just ignore it. What do you think, my furry friend? We going through it or what? Okay, just making sure I remembered the brush button. Alright. Pretty weak enemy. Didn't slice him up while he was stunned because I wanted to slice him up when he was dead. And things can't be cut in half twice. There's probably a drawn and quartered pun to make. Given that... <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Um, you know, given the art stuff that goes on in this game. But, uh... That'd be a really weird thing to make a pun about. Oh, I'm out of ink! I can't go for the floral finisher. <laughs> Need to remember that there's actually an ink limit. You can't just draw things forever. How many demon fangs I'm even gonna want over the course of the game? I feel like there's like one good item that takes 80 and one good item that takes 200 or something. So that's it. Those things are gateways to monster lairs. I've heard of such gates before. They're called devil gates. Those monsters got a lot of nerve building things like that. Let's tear them down when, wherever we find them. Chain unlocked. Enemy in the gates. We obtained Vengeance Slip. Paper te depicting Karmic Backlash. Temporarily deflect the enemy attacks. So that... Is that actually invincibility? Or is it like... Only deflecting deflectable attacks? Oh, hey, seeds. Or... I meant a feed bag. Which is not necessarily seeds. This is a guardian statue, but I don't think anyone's been here in years. It's in pretty bad shape. I feel kind of sorry for it. Why don't you leave an offering? Uh... Because I can't think of how I would leave an offering. Got him. Anyway, another demon gate. Let us do battle! Oh, your godhood carries between battles. I guess I knew that, because I knew that out of battle hazards could deplete godhood. Oh, they're just dead from that. Okay. Alright, four ink still. I mean, these enemies are pretty basic. Which makes them fairly convenient for farming the fangs. It's you again. Just making sure I picked up all the money and stuff while I can't attack the enemy anyway. Oh, 
Alright. Got him. Green Godhood. And there's a lake. And there's praise. What am I wanting to get next? Am I actually saving up for ink? Probably. See, I don't have a mermaid coin, nor do I have another location to warp to, but that's what that is. Huh? What a pretentious sign. Ami, this here's a dojo. It's where people come to learn sword fighting and martial arts. But who knows if they'll train you here. Maybe if you're a good wolfie, they'll teach you a trick or two. Yeah. Oh, pigs. Uh, what do pigs eat? Seeds. Okay. <laughs> I always think that seeds are just for birds. And then I get surprised. Because I forget every other animal that eats seeds. There's a fire here. Does it hurt? <laughs> the number one question anyone asks in any video game when they see a fire effect. Can I stand in it? Onigiri, Sensei. Isn't onigiri some sort of food? I think it's like rice balls. Anyway, well, what do we have here? Or what have we here? Looks like I have an adorable lupine visitor. My name is Onigiri, Sensei, and this is my dojo. Fighting Master Onigiri, Sensei. What business could a wolf like yourself have at a dojo like this? Certainly you haven't come to study the fighting arts with yours truly. Learn a new combat move? Yeah. And he likes the cut of our jib. He'd very much like to while away the hours at play with you, but I'm afraid that this place is far too dangerous for creatures like you. That is, of course, unless you can cover the training fee. Oh. I cannot cover any sort of training fee. Huh, you have to buy the dodge. I suspected as much. A place like this is no place for play, friend. You should go outside where it is far less dangerous. Is it far less dangerous, though? Anyway, I guess something to come back to when we have more money. With a convenient warp point, it uh, shouldn't be hard to get back here. As long as I remember... Let's, let's look at the map, actually. Is it... It's the back button, isn't it? No, the back button's always been that. So wait, which is it? Must be part of the fan menu then. Oh yeah, the map. Okay, so there's a big old building on the map. Oh yeah, he soon circled all those points of interest. I mean, I'm just kind of wandering around. That feels almost more appropriate. Oh yeah, let's just just take an encounter. These fights might only be good for money, but, uh, it turns out we need money in this game. Not just tooth money. Okay. Attacking the drum with a power slash or whatever as it was... ...partially out didn't do much of anything. Huh. Did hitting it in the back do something different than attacking it from the front? I still definitely don't know how that enemy works. But hey, we got cash. I could learn... I think it was the four-hit combo? Let's see, I think we're near one of those points of interest, though. Maybe let's finish that off first. Oh, not that near, but... Oh, hey. Uh, is it? It's seeds. <laughs> okay. Got them. F 
15 greys. I feel like that's above average for an animal group. Fish feed bag. Contained feeding. Scribble drawn by wandering artists contains useful information. I think I figured out feeding. It's always seeds. Alright. Is it bloom? I've suddenly forgotten what to do with these. Okay. I I wasn't sure if it was bloom or rejuvenate. But my uh, brush strokes were still looking solid instead of smoky. Uh, wow, the ground here is really cracked up here, isn't it? I bet it could be destroyed with a powerful explosion. Boom! It'd fall apart like a cheap souvenir. Yeah. I mean, too bad there's no way in the game to generate powerful explosions, but uh, sure would be nice if we could make a powerful explosion at some point. Is that a seed bag? We've been using those. Anyway. Now let's go to the dojo. Now that I've investigated up there. I think that was what he soon circled. I guess I could have opened my map again. So you've come again, my little pup or something? Have you come to sharpen your skills? Yes, I would like a four hit combo. I'll be a monkey's uncle. You've got the cash, have you? I see. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. And also, ah, and oh. And he does a dance. Wah, are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. Isn't it just a training dummy? Oh no, it's him. Let the lesson begin. Practice the four winds reflector technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Four winds reflector technique tips. First press X to begin the attack. Press X rapidly in succession. Time it well. Repeat until you connect four consecutive reflector hits. Can't you just mash? Do you have to time it? This combo makes short work of enemies and looks good too. Well, did you understand? I understand the words, but don't know exactly if they're accurate. Ah, very well then. I'll grant you this technique scroll. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. <laughs> okay. Understand it with your body as well as your mind. On guard. Yeah, you can just mash it. Good job. Good job, everyone. Hmm, not bad. Keep it up. I think I can just leave. But if I want, I can practice it again. Good job. Not quite, put more energy into it. I don't know, how many unique quotes does he have? Is that all the strength you can muster? I'll do it one more time and then we'll just go. Yes, let your warrior's spirit burn bright. Alright, he seems pretty satisfied. Had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf, gaining experience in a single skill is admirable, but you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. I pray that you do not forget that. Alright. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like... Is there any game where you have, like, a basic attack combo, and combo extensions are not, like, a major upgrade? I'm thinking, like, Hyrule Warriors, you get, like, the badges that let you go for longer combos, or, of course, any other Warriors game. Dynasty Warriors, Fire Emblem Warriors, Horse Warriors. It wasn't seeds, it was herbs. Excellent. I guessed correctly. Alright, we're halfway through. I have not saved yet this video. 
So, uh, make very sure not to die. Whoa! I forgot about the floating sky signs. Oh, I hadn't actually checked out the point of interest. I thought Isun just wanted me to see the bombable spot. Guess I need to, like... Wait, where is it? I'm pretty much on it. I don't want to drown. Can I examine the boat? Or maybe the rock? To Agata Forest. This waterway leads to Agata Forest. It's the most green and fertile place in this region. I heard the villagers used to take the ferry to the forest long ago. Uh, it remains circled. But perhaps we're done here, actually. Oh! Oh, nighttime. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the bridge, and there's like another building or something over there. Okay, yeah. So what's over here? person. Oh dear me, dear me, this is awful. What's awful? Priest of Moonshrine Mika. Ah, most welcome guest has wandered into our shrine. Your timing is immaculate, wolf. I need to speak to you. Outside is Lake Harami, Nippon's largest lake. In the middle of it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave. But it's completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. It enshrines the wicked demon that Nagi and Shiranui once defeated. And it housed Tsukuyami, the fabled sword that keeps the demon at bay. A demon, its name was... No, I'll be cursed if I say it. It was Orochi. Anyway, the point is, what on earth happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by the Tao Master, Waka. On the one occasion he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh dear. I think you're supposed to pronounce that Dao. Despite it beginning with a T, and it's... I want to say, like, Romanization? Moon Cave Entrance. Oh. Oh, so it was moved to the spirit world, that's why it did the whole light effect, like when we were near the tree in the village. Which I keep calling the village, by the way, because I forgot its name. <laughs> Huh? We passed under the shrine gate and followed the narrow path. So where the heck's the moon cave? It should be right here. Hey, what's with that big old mountain over there? Since when did that appear in the middle of Lake Harami? They say the moon cave is where Nagi slew the legendary beast. But that huge mountain is way too big for the moon cave I remember. I mean, just look at it. It's massive. Uh, I want to check out the other spot in the field before moving on, because that felt like progression. Interesting, though, to not outright tell the player where progression is, but be like, hey, check out these four spots. Maybe you only need one of them, but there are four spots. Okay. Even at night, just running past Demon Scrolls is pretty simple. I know they're, like, more aggressive and faster. But, uh, yeah. We've got the jukes. <laughs> uh. Oh. Maybe we don't have the jukes. I don't think I encountered the Demon Scroll. I think this is just for coming this way this happens. But I don't know. I forget what battle transitions normally look like. Maybe that was just a normal battle. Okay, you can't put them all on the same spot, it seems. I don't know if it even hit. Alright. 
Oh, it blew up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it was blocked by our godhood. Oh, hey. I haven't been looking out for these trees, but... Should bloom them. Oh, this is where we learn... Well, never mind. Legend of Orochi, scroll by... Dr Scroll, scroll by Drawn Wandering Artist. Contains useful information. Those crackers? Potatoes? I don't know. I guess it would be something we've already seen since we didn't get a description. There's some bombs here. No, no, no. That can't be right. It shouldn't be doing that. Uh, no, 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 I checked and double-checked my formula. No, no, no. Hey, you there. Got a minute? Hmm? Whoa, what's this little wisp doing here? Hey, who are you calling a wisp? I'm Isun the Wandering Artist. Well, well, well. You're a little ball of fire, aren't you? I'm Tama. Tama the Flaming Pyrotechnicist. That's what they call me. Or technist. I added an extra syllable in there. <laughs> Listen up, you two. I'm just about to set off a humdinger of a doozy. Take a look at the formula I posted on the wall there. My whole career as a pyrotechnist has led to that formula, friends. It's for a little firework I've dubbed the Midnight Wonder Boy. There's only one problem. I don't know the secret of his power. Uh, I mean, even though I know that the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. Listen, pup. You've got good eyes. Fiery eyes. Smoldering eyes. Maybe your red-hot glare is just what I need to set this off. Feast your eyes on the greatest display the world has ever seen. Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky. The Midnight Wonder Boy. Uh, that was a lot of bombs. Eh? What are we drawing? Oh, the formula on the wall, of course. Kind of helps that I already know the bomb from other people playing. Holy smokes! That Tama may have a few screws loose, but boy, can he deliver. Hmm? That light again. So we can learn the technique we just used. Oh, it's another constellation, Ami. Let's see, not detecting any other missing spots. It's always at either dead ends or angle changes, I'm pretty sure. Alright. The pig. I guess I've never really paid attention to the whole set. Is it just Chinese Zodiac plus a wolf? Or is the wolf in the Chinese Zodiac and the 13th is one of the others? Anyway, ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Too often it is easy to forget that which we cannot see. Hidden away, I had lost track of you, but now my soul is at ease. I, Bakugami, god of explosive force, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. <laughs> so the little ones lit the bomb that the large one was rolling on, I guess? Hey, did another brush technique just come back to you? That was Bakugami, the god of explosions. His technique is called Cherry Bomb. Tama's enthusiasm must have awakened the god's power in you. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's give that Cherry Bomb a try. What about that cracked wall over there? Why don't you try a Cherry Bomb on it? Because I'm in a cutscene. But be careful, Gulp. Okay. Whoa, look at that hole. It blasted that cracked wall of smithereens. That cherry bomb is one destructive technique. 
I mean, just think what it could do to monsters. It's going to be tricky handling something that powerful, but I bet you'll be using it all the time once you master it. Gym unlocked, Bakugami. I feel like people don't often use Cherry Bomb in combat unless it's specifically the enemy weakness. But also that's true of like every brush technique besides Power Slash. <laughs> you obtained Rat Statue. One of the 13 Zodiac treasures. Wait, 13 Zodiac? Is there a Japanese Zodiac that I just don't know anything about? It is posed whimsically. Uh, that's not the dash button. Okay, that was definitely just getting an encounter. Alright, let's try the bomb in combat. Boom, got him. Actually, yeah, did they just die outright from that? Oh, well, if you just cut them down, they get owned. Okay. Oh wow, it's 26 minutes already. I mean, we got a brush technique. Got a lot of tutorials, got a fighting technique. Alright, also... Okay, those other map spots actually got marked off. Like to try to get as much as I can done with a single power slash. Do not waste ink. Okay. Got him. And got the money. And got bonus money. And we're back to green godhood. Excellent. Yeah, let's bomb this, which will probably actually mark it off on our map. And yeah, I believe bomb is more successful if you draw the fuse from outside, or I mean the opposite, from the inside out instead of the outside in. I'm not certain of that though, so if we start failing a bunch of bombs suddenly, I'll start trying it the opposite way. I guess if I'd studied the wall scroll a bit harder, maybe I could have determined which way the brush stroke was going. Anyway, I'm just gonna hope there's a save point right inside here. See, I don't see one right now. But maybe once we go through that ominous purple stuff, Hopefully it's not like an immediate boss fight. <laughs> that could cause this to run significantly over. The cautious thing to do would be to backtrack to the mirror back in the field. Oh, youch, what the heck? There's some kind of barrier here. Never seen one so powerful before. We'd be better off staying away from this thing. Oh, okay, so this is not the next area. Unless there's something off the side. I might have to do stuff elsewhere to lower the barrier, and I was just supposed to go for here for this cutscene. In which case, I guess running away from it to begin with was rather silly. Just cost me a lot of travel time. Well, not even a lot. Cost me a little travel time. We were still just moving up and down the east end of Shinshu Field. Not like I crossed the whole field diagonally or something. Alright. Maybe next is when I actually return to the village. There's still a circle down there. Oh, hey, there's also... Oh, wait, no. I was gonna say, there's also another guardian sapling, but... 
up in the top left, but no, that was actually the one in Hana Valley. So yeah, I'd probably go to Kamiki Village and bloom the tree as the next actual thing to do, but... Why has the circle not been cleared? Is it just to eventually remind me once I've got lily pads that I need to go there? Oh, that's the one I wasn't going to say last time. Yeah, let's head back to the village. I don't see anything else to interact with around here. See, I don't think I have enough money for another technique. Next one was 10k to get the dodge. Alright. I'm guessing there's no fall damage. I don't remember anyone ever having to deal with fall damage. So yeah, I guess in the next part, doing what I actually said last time we were going to do in this part. But, uh, we got some good stuff done. It's not like we wasted a video by not doing things around here. Anyway, see ya!